everybody, it's your crazy fangirl Shami. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're going to be watching the fifth episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Um, I know this can be a very scary time, so I did want to say, please look after yourselves. Remember, you know, everyone's going through the same situation. And, you know, remember, reach out to your loved ones. And, you know, if you are feeling anxious or scared, remember there are helplines out there to help you. Um, I wanted to start off this video by saying that because, you know, there's a lot of things happening in the world at the moment. And I think we all just need, you know, some comfort in the world at the moment because it is scary. And, you know, I... You, everyone knows this like by now because I talk about it on Instagram and stuff but yeah I have an anxiety problem and in all honesty it has been a very anxious time for me because you know uni's all over the place now like I'm not really sure what's going on um it's all online now but it's very anxiety inducing because I am a photography student so it is confusing to do a photography like subject online it's weird um but yeah, just remember, you're not the only one out there who's probably going through a little bit of anxiety. Remember, there are helplines. Go to your family, your loved ones. Remember, they are there and they will obviously be there for you and support you through this hard time. Because we all need some love <laughs> and some care at the moment. So remember to look after yourselves. But anyway, we're going to jump into this episode of The Clone Wars. Um, the thumbnail, give it away. Ahsoka's in it. Um, so I'm very excited. I love my girl. Um, she's one of my favorite female characters in all the Star Wars universe. And she's amazing. And... Yeah, she deserves so much more credit than she gets, so I'm excited to see what happens. So yeah, let's just jump straight into this. Before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. Oh my girl! Honor! Oh, Oh god, my internet's going out again! Okay, just a quick thing. I had to switch to my sister's room because apparently my room is apparently too far from the NBN modem now, the internet modem. Australia has the worst internet because literally it's two room, like one room down, sorry, from this room and apparently that's still too far. It's so annoying. Like, it's re it, it's become like a recent thing. Like, I can't access the internet from my room. It's so weird. I don't know why, but um... <sighs> It's so annoying. So yeah, I probably will have to start doing the Clone Wars videos in my sister's room because this is closer to the internet modem because it's in the uh, just behind here in that room. And uh, it's so annoying. But anyway, let's just jump straight into this again. I'm so sorry for like the, the change. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Queen! Ooh, yes, girl. Ooh. Where did you learn to fight like that? My older brother taught me. Maybe you can teach me someday. Oh, she just. You gotta go tell my sister about it. Wait, pause. She just called Attic and her older brother. Or oh, does she have an older brother? I don't think she does. But anyway, I'm thinking it's Attic. Oh. Seems very really like a toxic cycle between the two sisters. No, 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 no! Trace, that's my Troy. Where is it going? It's a test run. Nothing to worry about. This isn't funny, Trace. She's not even doing anything to help. She's just getting the deals done. She should at least give a hand to get it back. Oh, can't a circuit just use the force? <laughs> Is the circuit allowed to still use the force even though she's not a Jedi? Oh no, oh no, oh no. <gasps> yep, okay. Yeah, 
Get your finger out of her face! That's true! The sake of speaking the truth. Nice. That was a nice segue into obviously what's going to become Ahsoka's kind of like story for the next few episodes. Kind of like what happened with Echo and um, Rex's story. Um, because, yeah, someone on the channel was saying um, that the Dave Filoni was t talking about it and he said, you know, instead of what they used to do now, but in this season they're kind of doing all the d stories like in like bunches. So obviously we had the first four episodes about Echo and Rex and all that whole stuff happening with the clones. So now they're going to what's happening with Ahsoka and I'm guessing that for the next four episodes or so we're going to cover like what's going on with her, like obviously in the underground of Coruscant and stuff like that. I really like Trace. She's really, really cool. She's a cool character. She's very interesting. At first I didn't like her because, you know, she kept asking for money, but then I was like, you know, it's probably just because, you know, she needs it because of the situation she's in. So that's fair enough. But um, I do not like um, Rafa. She's weird. And she's just, yeah. Um, it's a very toxic um, sister relationship. And, you know, we've seen that in a lot of different, like, movies and um, TV shows where, the, you know, the older sibling is kind of like, you know, doing the right thing, but they're going about it the wrong way, I guess. And, yeah, Rafa's going about it the wrong way. She's putting a lot of people in danger with what she's... I hope we get to see more... Um, character development between Ahsoka and Tracy because I think that they're going to become really good friends and I think we've seen that like in the trailer like there's more scenes between them so we're going to see them in the next few episodes obviously together but I wonder what else is going to happen with Rafa because Rafa doesn't like Ahsoka and Ahsoka doesn't like her so I'm I'm wondering what's going to happen and I feel like Trace is going to find out that Ahsoka is um a Jedi soon um so that's going to be very interesting like to find out you know because Trace obviously doesn't like the Jedi if she finds out that Ahsoka was a Jedi, I wonder what she's going to say, but also because of the fact that, you know, Ahsoka is very, very nice. She's very kind, and uh, again, she referred to Anakin as a big brother, and I was like, <laughs> cry. But, yeah, um, I wonder what Trace will say, like, when she finds out that Ahsoka is a Jedi, and I hope that her kind of, like, interpretation of a Jedi changes, but... <sighs> I'm so excited because, yeah, Ahsoka's back. I love Ahsoka. So that's going to be really interesting to see what else is going to happen with her story. And yeah, she's obviously trying to get used to life without being a Jedi. You know, like not relying on the Force, not obviously using her lightsaber, which I'm pretty sure she doesn't have anymore from memory because I haven't gotten up to that part yet in the season. So I have to go back and check that. And yeah, I'm excited to see what else happens because there's so much more to happen in this season. We obviously only have a glimpse of it now, so I'm excited to see what else happens in the next few episodes with Ahsoka. So thank you guys so much for watching this reaction, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the new episode for Clone Wars. Me and a couple of my friends are talking about this, well actually, one particular friend. Um, his name is Mitch, and yeah, there's, there might be a podcast coming about Star Wars, like everything to do with Star Wars, because... Um, we were just, we, I remember we were talking about it for like two hours and we ended up talking till like 3am because it was just, ugh, we can talk for hours about Star Wars because this story is amazing. But we were talking about, you know, I keep going back to Order 66 because, you know, they are saying that a lot of the stuff that happens in the movies is going to get connected into the show and they're going to kind of like show stuff. So I was like, we were talking about Order 66 and... Yeah, we were talking about the whole thing with Ahsoka, you know, like, because she's, she, like, she's in the timeline of when that happens. So we were wondering, like, you know, like, which scenes are going to kind of, like, connect and, you know, when, where, like, where's she going to be, like, when this all unravels? And there was one part where we were saying, and it's in the trailer, where she is on the ship and she's grabbing her head and, you know, she's in pain and she's kind of, like, obviously that's when, like, you know, the Force. And, you know, she's looking through, like, obviously the stuff that's happening through that actual time period. Um, yeah, we were wondering if, like, you know, that's perhaps maybe when, you know, Cody gets Order 66 and then he starts, like, shooting at Obi-Wan. And then the rest of the Jedi begin to slowly die. Because there is that scene in the trailer at the very end where Ahsoka's shutting the door. And I didn't even realise this until Mitch pointed this out to me. But... Um, Rex is on the ground and he's like grabbing his head. He's like, he, he doesn't know what's going on. And then we both were kind of like, oh shit. Like what if Rex and Ahsoka are in the same room and Rex is trying to fight off Order 66? And you know, 
There were a couple other clones, like I've said previously, that did, like, obviously either fight it or get their chips removed. So we were wondering if some of them do actually fight the Order and, you know, perhaps tell Ahsoka to run. So we're trying, yeah, like, we were trying to think, like, when that happens and what happens. And, you know, we were talking about, you know, the day after Order 66 happens. Like, um, if that is when, um, because, you know, the whole thing with Darth Maul, like, you know, he was, like, the next in line to be the Sith, but then, you know, he he didn't end up getting it. So then he knows everything, like, the whole plan, Order 66, you know, and the day of the fight he has with Ahsoka, what if that's the day after Order 66 happens? Because, you know, we see all the chaos happening in the background of that scene in the trailer. So I was wondering, you know, if that's actually going to happen. So that's going to be really, really interesting to see if that does happen happen like I don't know the order of events that it will happen but you know that would be really cool to see like how that unravels and yeah I can't wait to do that podcast with Mitch because that's going to be really really interesting because he loves Star Wars and I love Star Wars so we're probably just going to talk everything to do with Star Wars because I remember we were talking and we talked about one little thing I think yeah it was the game like um Fallen Order and then we led it to the the Revenge of the Sith, and then we re- <laughs> we connected it to Clone Wars, and then we went back to the films, and then, oh, it was so good. Like, I love talking with him about Star Wars, so that podcast will come out very soon, I promise you guys. But again, I also wanted to talk about the fact that, you know, since I am in self-isolation at the moment, I'm not really going anywhere. There is more content coming, people. I'm, like, promise you that, because I have more free time. Yes, I'm studying from home, but I'm also putting aside more time to do film and, like, you know, to make more content because I want to make you guys happy and I want to give you guys some really good content so yeah, I'm I'm going to announce this now because the Death Stranding podcast is coming. I know it's a couple of months late, but the whole thing with the coronavirus happened and there was a lot of other stuff happening and I had to set up the date for that podcast. But finally, my review is coming out with two special guests. You will find out when that comes out. It's not coming out like this week, but next week. And it's going to be so good. I'm so excited. And there is a whole new video series coming out as well for my YouTube channel. Um, it has something to do with all my streams. So that's going to be really exciting. And I hope you guys will enjoy that because that I've been working on that for the past like two weeks. So that's exciting. And um, yeah, there's so much more podcasts coming, so much more content. And I cannot wait to share it with you guys because it's going to be amazing. It's going to be fun. And yeah, there's so much to do so yeah i'm excited but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this and i'll see you guys in the next video crazy fangirl out